大家好，我是四叔建国，我在内蒙古自治区伊尔蒙高列 Autonomous Region 鄂尔多斯鄂尔多斯阿拉敏鄂托克旗 Otog Banner. I'm on my way to find a young herder. He's only 30 years old. It's called Tao Ge Tong, and he raises Kashmir goats. Ur Ordos is famous in China for Kashmir products, and this banner accounts for 10% of the total production of raw Kashmir within the whole autonomous region. Just yesterday, a 16-ton shipment left Otog Banner on its way to Italy. Now, every year, more than 100 tons of Kashmir is sent abroad from Otog Banner. So this is an Arabas the Bayrong Shanyang. That's an Albus white cashmere goat. Oh, look how cute you are. Obviously, it's a little goat kid. So, so pretty. Albus cashmere goats are a unique breed to Otogbana Ordos. Um, they've been raised for thousands of years here. These Albus cashmere goats, they produce excellent cashmere, but also extremely nutritious meat. Don't listen to this next part. Um, that's so nutritious that locals refer to the meat as rou zhong ren shen, so that's the ginseng of meats. Uh, I didn't even know you could eat a cashmere goat, because here in China, cashmere is referred to as uh, rou huang jin, so that's soft gold. So I never even considered that you could eat cashmere goat meat. But today, I'm going to. But I'm not going to eat you. Don't worry. I'm not going to eat you. No, I'm not. You're fine. This is Tao Ge Tong. Tao Ge Tong raises Albus cashmere goats here. Tao Ge Tong, you're welcome. Hello. Today, I'm going to raise your Albus cashmere goats. But first, I want to help you with the work. This is the situation of the cashmere goats. Okay? Let's start with the cashmere goats. Okay. 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 Okay
哇塞，这就是那个软黄金，对对，软黄金，叽叽叽叽叽叽。They are beautiful. They're really bloody strong, though. You must be quite hungry. So, they've eaten. They've finished. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. They've finished. Uh, I think it's time for me to eat. Eat one of you. Well, no, not one of you. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be okay. So this is going to be my first time trying Albus cashmere goat meat. It's sunset. Tao Gatong has cooked all this for me. This is Shou Baro. So that's Albus cashmere goat meat that's been boiled. These are Taiyang Biang. So that's pancakes in the shape of a sun. And inside also cashmere goat meat. So uh, I'm going to get stuck in. Right, let's just go. I'm just going to use my hands to start off with. Mm. Oh, lovely. Mmm. Very. That is beautiful. Flavour, really rich. It is a bit chewy. This is the most authentic way to eat yang rou, with a knife and by hands, but it is a bit messy. Mm, beautiful fragrance, beautiful flavour. What could make it better though, is if I added some mint sauce. In Britain, we put mint sauce on lamb and goat meat. You might think that's weird, but try it. Beautiful. Now, one of the reasons, oh, you can see it's quite tough on the bone here. One of the reasons it is tough and chewy is because the cashmere goats are three years old when they are prepared to be eaten. If they were younger, the, the meat would probably be more tender. Obviously, if you cook it for longer, it's more, it gets tender, but um, there's a certain level of tenderness that this can reach. And after three years old, it's got to be this kind of chewiness, but it's still really tasty. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, it's excellent. If it was a bit more tender, it'd be perfect. But like I said, that's how it's cooked here. Right, let's try the Thaambian. Freshly made. Oh, wow. Oh, it's such a hearty, warming kind of meal. I think I prefer this to the Shobaro, to be honest. Mm. Just this isn't as chewy as that, but the flavours, wow, amazing. So this one apparently has got a lot of meat in, so I'm going to try and do oh, open it up with one bite to try and show you how much meat is in it. Mm. It's so juicy that it's getting all around my mouth. I need to do that a bit, otherwise I look like I look awful, don't I? So like I mentioned. Albus goat meat has already been included in the 100 Chinese GIs, but there's big plans for the Albus cashmere goat industry altogether. Now, Otog Banner is going to provide 100 million yuan in um, industrial support funds to help develop the industry. And the goal is to make Albus raw cashmere into a world famous raw cashmere brand by 2024. If you're outside China, you get a chance to try some Albus goat meat. I'd definitely recommend it. It's very similar to a lot of British food. Ooh. This might be my best sunset meal. <laughs> <laughs> 